before we all jump in on this one, <clears throat> this is where I see the most mistakes happen. And it has to do with this. What's going to happen on this side of the equation? When I combine like terms by following what you see. What I see a lot when students are doing this is you're so ingrained in the do the opposite to move. A lot of students will say, oh, I'm going to subtract 2x from, both, from everything, and they'll subtract it here. Whenever you've got on one side the equal sign, you're just squishing things together, and you're just following the rules to do what it shows you if you're on one side the equal sign. It's when you move it that you have to do the, up, do the opposite. So these get combined into 7x minus 3. And again, the reason I'm taking some of our time to review this is this is where I saw the most mistakes last semester in the algebra, but these are not the kinds of mistakes we can keep making. We've really got to clean this one up. Now, I still have a 6x over here and a 3 here. I'm going to go ahead and just get all the x's on one side by subtracting 7x from both. So that leaves me negative 3 is equal to 6 minus 7 is a negative 1. I also saw some interesting things happening with... Uh, with these kinds of arithmetic. So how do I get rid of that negative? Divide by negative 1. And that leaves me 3 is therefore equal to x. And I box my answer. 